Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over a new look achievement. This is unlocked one hour after completing a new friend. This achievement rewards the Cryptus Skyscale skin. Heads up, you're going to need five charged quartz crystals and a lot of rift currencies. Before I get into the collection, I wanted to quickly go over how to maximize your rift drops. First is unlocking the rift mastery under the Astral Ward track. This will double your essence drops. Adding a motivation to the Rift will also increase your drops. This is done after the pre-event where you can interact with the Rift with your Heart of the Obscure before the Elite or Champion comes out. For example, a Tier 1 Rift would drop 3 to 6 Essences of Despair. With the Mastery, 6 to 14. And add a motivation to that, 17 to 32. When you're grinding the currency, that is a big difference between 3 and 32 when it comes to drops. To craft motivations, you will need the Astral Craft and Emotion Control Masteries unlocked under the Astral Ward track. This will allow you to purchase the recipes from Lear to craft your motivations. To get started, talk to Trainer Diane. Next, we're going to talk to Lear to purchase the Analytical Charm. We are heading to the Wizard's Tower and just south from the waypoint. So you can actually find two different costs for this depending on what you select. If you select, I need something to help Diane with the sky scale, it's going to cost 20 spirit wood planks. You can still select from the tab below where you can purchase it for 20 Daldramore steel. If you select the typical crafting option, could you help me with some crafting? You'll only get the option to purchase it with the 20 Daldramore steel. Both Spiritwood Planks and Deljamore Steel you can craft yourself or purchase from the Black Lying Trading Post. Alongside our Planks or Steel, you will also need your 5 Charge Quartz Crystals and 200 Globs of Ectoplasma, as well as 1 Algamated Cryptus Essence. For 200 of our Tier 1 Riff Currencies, which is the Essence of Despair, 100 of the Tier 2, which is Essence of Greed, and 50 of our tier 3, which is the essence of triumph. Again, those are all currencies from the different tiers of rifts around the map. Next is the sky scale a target practice. I did the entire route without a single target, which means I didn't even get bronze. All I did was finish it and I still got credit for the achievement. Start. Next, we have to defeat 20 Cryptus turrets while using your Firebell skill on your Sky Skill. So, that being said, you will need to level up your flight training to unlock the Fireball Mastery. I did this in Omnitas. I went to the Battle of Strength waypoint and went back and forth between the Cryptus frontline and the Circle of Renewal's point of interest. To do this, I held down my second skill, the fireball, until I could see a beam and I lined it up with my target. If you come across one that has a demonic seal, you will need to use your fourth skill to dash through it first and then use your fireball skill. Next is to spend 30 continuous seconds on a ley line while on your sky scale. You of course will need the ley line mastery track unlocked under a flight training for this. I'm going to start at the wizard's ascent and starting at my personal marker.
Finally, someone came. My partner is now we head back and talk to a Skyscale trainer, a Diane. This now uncovers more items that we need to do for our collection, but also unlocks Skyscale Medicine Masker Achievement. Next is our Anodize Medicinal Cauldron. It is purchased for three cases of captured lightning, three poaches of stardust, 20 Deldramore steel, and one Cryptus essence. For the three cases of captured lightning, you can purchase from a few vendors such as the Fraction Provisioners in the Wizard's Ascent. Or Hero Chess from the Skyscale map meta. We also need three pouches of Stardust. Like before, you can purchase from vendors across Omnitas, such as the Faction Provisioners, and next to the Bastion of Natural Waypoint, it will cost you 250 pinches of Stardust for each. Or you can select them from the Hero's Chest from doing the Omnitas map meta. You also need 20 Delgemore Steel, which you can craft or purchase from the Black Lion Trading Post, and one Cryptus Essence, which you can purchase from Lear for the Rift Currencies. For our next two, you have two options. You can do Strikes or you can do Rifts. For Rifts, you can purchase the Sample of Cryptus Possession and the Sample of Corruption from Lear or complete the Cosmic Observatory Strike Mission and the Temple of Feb Strike Mission. Next is Skyscale Medicine Masker Achievement. When I was doing this, you were going to look for champions or world boss worms. And all I did was the Great Jungle Worm world boss a couple of times and this counted. I also heard that the Triple Trouble world boss counts as well. I'm not sure if this is still relevant, but at the time, champions were dropping only between 8 to 12, while the world boss drops between 75 and 125. I'll link the wiki below to the Tasty Worm segment, so you can see what is what, just in case it continues to change. And of course, talk to Diane again. Then our Skyscale off to the side, you're going to want to interact and administer the medicine. This will unlock the Arcane Osmographier Drat. collection. Drat. It's not working. For this collection, you will need to collect 1,000 fragments by opening the long chests across the Horn of Maguma. This will require the Lesser Arcane Treasury Mastery unlocked, but the Greater Arcane Treasury Mastery will reward more fragments and it will take a lot less time. For example, Lesser Arcane Chest Reward between 8 and 25 fragments per chest. The Greater Arcane Chest Reward between 87 to 150. I'll include the two links below from the wiki that show the chest spawn locations. For the Lesser Chest, I think it kind of works like iron nodes or a different type of nodes on maps where not every location will be spawned for that day. If so, a chest icon will pop up if you're close by. That's how I determined if I should look harder or if I should just move on. But to give you an idea, the lesser mastery, you'd probably have to open between 40 to 125 chests before you could get your 1000 fragments. While if you have the greater mastery unlocked, you have to open maybe six to 11 chests before you max it out. So at first I was being stubborn and was just doing the lesser arcane mastery and eventually I just worked on getting mastery points and just started opening the Greater Arcane chest to wrap this up. For me, the biggest part of this collection was the rifts and leveling up my masteries to get the Greater Arcane chest rewards. And our very last step is to return back to the Six Sky Scale next to Trainer Diane. Interact and collection is complete. But Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful. Well, I only have and I don't know. Our friend is maybe see you around. That's what counts. The, more the DX Racer Craft Series Guild Wars 2 Edition. Gorgeous artwork, front and back, plush memory foam headrest, and 
and plenty of adjustments, including lumbar support. Use code TIFFY for 5% off or my link in the video description below.